Hi, my name is Larry. Um, <clears throat> I started this uh, YouTube channel uh, because, you know, I've been into model railroading since I was six years old. Uh, I'm now 32, and I really enjoy the hobby, and I see a lot of uh, other people um, starting YouTube channels, showing their layouts, and it's just something that I've been really wanting to do uh, is, is get involved with, uh, with people and model railroaders. Um, you know, a little bit about myself. I live up in, I live in upstate New York, and, um, you know, I, I bought this house uh, in 2008. It was my first home. Um, I started model railroading, like I said, when I was about six years old, and everything started uh, pretty much from a, a catalog. Um, it was called Present Company. It was the name of the, the, um, the uh, uh, company. So, um, Looking through that, I, I stumbled upon this uh, layout. It was a small little train set, you know, and it had all the houses and details, and it was just fascinating. And it pulled me right in, and I really, uh, from that point on, was hooked. Um, and then I had kind of got my father hooked into this um, a lot worse than I was uh, back back then, and um, you know, so he's taken an interest in the hobby as well. And we work on the layout together from time to time. Um, but the layout uh, that I'm modeling here, the layout that I have, is, is basically uh, built on the uh, southern tier line that runs from Buffalo. Uh, and I'm, I'm modeling from Buffalo to Elmira. The, um, the line actually runs from Buffalo to Jersey City. But, um, you know, obviously we don't have that big of a basement. So it's a pretty big basement, but it's not that big. So anyway... Um, um, the era, I would say, is, you know, from like the mid-90s to present, um, and that's pretty much it, you know. So, my, uh, the purpose of this video today is for me to show you my layout and, uh, you know, basically just give you an idea of what I'm doing, and, um, and then from there I'd like to go along and show you guys uh, as I advance and the layout grows. Um, I've been working on it for the last uh, about almost seven years, so there is... You know, there's some stuff done already, but uh, at least we could start from here and, you know, maybe in 15, 20 years it'll be uh, all done. Who knows? But uh, it's never done, though, right? Never done. So, but, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys my layout, and uh, we'll start from Buffalo, and we'll end in the uh, Elmira area. All right, so basically this here is going to be starting off in the Buffalo Yard. Okay, um, you know, I, I don't have a lot done here as far as scenery, but they're, the tracks in the yard are uh, pretty much all set up. Um, I have a switch panel here that I made, and this also controls the, uh, this is going to be the, this is the bison yard, so it controls the um, switches for this end of the yard, the west end of the yard, and for the uh, grain mill and the uh, grading industrial building. So, I've got that there. Um, next I'll move on to the east end of the yard and down over in this area I have uh, which is going to probably be an auto rack uh, facility. I'm not a hundred percent sold on this yet. Uh, I may actually be changing some things around here but this this has been in for quite some time so but, uh, yeah, as you can see, um, and my basement's about, it's close to about 50 feet by, uh, tw about 50 by 25, so. Uh, and then <clears throat> heading further east here, we go to, uh, this is going to be Union Street, uh, which is basically the end of the yard. Um, and then we're going to come into Attica, New York. Uh, this is kind of like the first really nice town uh, along the southern tier route and um, you know I have uh, this uh, bridge here and working on the town now this is a work in progress here so but I, you could see I really wanted to get my trains running you know that's the first thing was getting a track light uh, and then basically heading east from here we're going to be going into Silver Springs um, I do have, my father really likes this, uh, these uh, cement plants and stuff because he was in the construction industry. So we have this that we're working on. Um, 
something and, and you'll you'll notice that I sort of jump around a little bit on my layout I don't like work on something until it's completely done because sometimes to be honest I'm really not in the mood to work on this or that so my take on it is, is if you're really not in the mood to do it don't do it because it's not going to come out right so uh, there's a there's a passing siding here um, <clears throat> And then this this goes through. This is going to be Silver Springs, New York, um, which is definitely you know pretty much this track right now. And then from Silver Springs, uh, we're going to be coming into the Letchworth Gorge. Um, and this picture is exactly how I'm going to model um, this scene. That's that's basically how it's going to look. So I'm going to be uh, working on that eventually. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of work to be done there. And then, uh, you know, going east, this is going to be um, another area called Swain. Uh, we may, I may put a small town in, in between here. I'm not really sure uh, exactly what I'm going to do yet with that. Um, this is going to be like wetlands and kind of uh, some just grassy areas and things like that. It should be really nice for scenery. This line, there's a lot of scenery. There's not a whole lot of industry, so... Um, that's one of the downsides. I'm trying to add maybe some industry, even if it's not 100% prototypical to the area, just because I like to operate my trains and, you know, a lot of, um, there's just not a lot of, of, uh, of that going on in the southern tier. There are some, uh, factories along the route, but not a ton. Uh, now we're going to be going into Canisarega, um, and this is, uh, this is a little international dealership that me and my father worked on. Uh, there is actually, in, there's actually a John Deere uh, dealership in Canisarega, but we wanted to do an international dealership. So, like I said, I'm not real stringent on uh, exactly what's there. Just, just kind of uh, having fun. So, and then I got a little farm across the street um, that we're still working on. I'm going to make this. Uh, this cabbage field, I'm going to extend it out into the, the backdrop, and I'll probably do more video on that. Um, but yeah, I've basically got the house and everything going on here. Uh, and then we're going to go further west, or I'm sorry, east. I actually, um, this was going to be like, this is kind of like an area of Hornell, but um, you know, Horn Hornell is a fairly decent sized city or town. Actually, it is a city. Um, it's a fairly decent sized city, so I really didn't have a lot of room, enough room to really do it the way it needed to be done, so I skipped Hornell. Um, and then I went into Cameron, New York, which is Cameron and Addison. This is, this is going to be, uh, or this is Cameron. There's quite a bit of scenery in here. Uh, it's not done, but, um, just working on that. And, uh, yeah. This I could, you can see I'm, I've got some water drying here, which uh, I got a little painter's tape to hold that from spilling over, which <laughs> I know a little bit about. And uh, yeah, this is going in. This is going. This is Cameron here. So, and this is kind of a cool area. I mean, the the line just follows, or the road. This road just follows the line. So when you're rail fanning, it's really fun. You could follow these trains, and um, you know, and there's beautiful scenery in here I mean uh, I could say in the real thing so and then uh, we're gonna be coming into gang mills here this is this is an actual place along the route um, before you get to gang mills there's a bridge overpass just like this um, not sure off the time I have what the route the route is but um, there's a house down below with the cars it's kind of a really cool scene so I thought I would uh, model that and uh, there's some of the these uh, I printed uh, little waste bins uh, with my 3d printer which I'd like to talk a little bit about before uh, the end of this video so and then uh, we go into gang Mills yard um, and this is kind of heading towards the end of the line but there's there's one more I got on Myra still. Yeah, this is, you know, a work in progress here again. Um, 
going to be putting probably a, um, a roof 15 uh, along here and um, I have a sign that I actually built out of brass I, I just custom made this it's not a kit or anything and I took um, you know brass tubing and pieces and I soldered it all together um, so I made that just off, just off of a uh, you know pictures and measurements that I took uh, from a real um, sign like overpass so and here's the switch panel I made um, for gang mills yard this um, actually I bent out of metal I made it work I, I'm a heat I do heating and I might actually do my heat my profession is uh, heating and air conditioning so um, you know, basically I, I can do a little bit of work with sheet metal. And then um, this is just basically continuation here. And now we're going on. And now we're going to be, this is going to be Elmira. So this is, this town, or this city should be really cool. Um, because the tracks ele are elevated throughout the whole city. And I've taken um, this bridge I custom made out of wood. Um, it's not really a bridge. It's basically... The tracks are elevated, like I was saying, because years ago they had a flood, and um, that that helped. Obviously, that was one of the reasons I believe they they did this. The other reason was um, they used to hit, there was crossings here, and I can imagine like there's like four or five crossings in a city that would be horrible, considering it's it's a fairly um, it's the largest city in the southern tiers of southern tier of New York, so that would be uh, really uh, cumbersome and annoying. Uh, trying to travel. Of course, I would like it, you know. I wouldn't mind sitting there. This is just a little bridge that's going over the Chemung River. And uh, that's pretty much the end of the line. We're going to wind up back at uh, Buffalo here. So, And I could, you can see I got some signals that I'm playing with. Um, planning on getting that going someday. I really would like some help on that because I'm not a hundred percent sure on how to I want to I, I do want something prototypical um, and I'm thinking that the computer system would be probably my best bet the CTC type of system uh, I do have a computer here and I also have a, a monitor screen over here um, you know that I can link up to that so that would be kind of fun um, basically some of the things that I've made with the 3D printer, um, these are bridge overpasses that I've made. They're pretty nice. Um, the one thing that I'm working on right now is I noticed that like pipe loads are just so expensive, you know. And this here, um, I made this pipe load, and basically, I bought the uh, I think it's the, the what is the name of that stuff? It's uh, Plastruct. Of course, it's right in front of me. The plastic tubing, um, and basically I made the flanges and then made my own pipe load. So I printed the flanges and then put it on the plastic tubing, make a pipe, you know, and make a pipe load. So then I decided, well, you know, maybe I could sell these, and but I haven't really put a lot of effort or, or had the time to really um, do this. But uh, these, these, um, these flanges go right on the on these uh, pipes, and you can make a pipe load as long or short as you want, and you can make it for a lot less uh, than the ones you buy at the store. And this is this here is my 3D printer, so um, I might you know do some more videos on that later on. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the deal with my layout. And uh, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, uh, like I said, I'm not the best uh, uh, spokesperson here, but it's all a little new to me. So, but thanks for watching this, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, please uh, feel free to ask any questions about the the layout or anything. So, thank you very much.